Hey, 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 hey. Happy, happy Saturday. Uh, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, happy Saturday. Glad you're here. If you're new to the stream, welcome. Thank you so much for, for being here today on this, this fine Saturday. Uh, I will say fine Saturday because it's super nice out here in Minnesota. Uh, start with the weather because I was talking about Minnesota, but yeah, it's uh, like 45 degrees and sunny. I mean, this is basically summer. <laughs> this is basically summer for for Minneapolis. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It gets a lot warmer than that. But hey, uh, thank you so much for being here. If it's your first time being here, thank you. It's a it's a little bit different than my YouTube stuff. Kind of kind of laid back and uh, um, a little different energy. We we talk about things we're excited about, things we're working on, or things that we're struggling with. All all kind of related to tech. If you have one of those things that you want to share, I, I would encourage you to throw it in chat because uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, if, you, if you have something you're, you're working on, struggling with, uh, thinking about doing or want some feedback on or, or you're stuck, yeah, throw it in chat. We got a lot of smart people here and I'll try my best to answer. Um, if you're if you're not new to the stream, thanks. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe maybe I'll have a few repeat customers. I see some I see some familiar names in there. So thank you for coming back. Um, and if you aren't new to the stream, you'll probably notice I'm sitting down because man, I am beat. <laughs> I am beat. Uh, anyways, I, I usually stand up for the stream, and I I probably will stand up here in a little bit. Uh, but man, I uh, yeah, I, I kind of went crazy uh, working out and then chopping up some ice and then I chopped up ice until a good uh, probably 30 minutes ago chopped up ice for an hour and a half with a pickaxe so anyways i i just need to sit down anyway so i'm, I'm totally fine i'm just i'm a wimp i'll just say that <laughs> so i need to sit down um but anyways like i was saying it, it, if, if if you're working on something throw it in chat i would i would love to see it because we're going to talk about it i'll try to get my try to make it look like i'm not slouching i'm not really but my angle's a little bit different um, so, uh, so yeah, so, um, yeah, speaking of what you've been working on, I see him coming in a chat, uh, uh, what I've been working on, I, I, you probably saw, maybe you did or didn't, um, the past couple weeks I've been working on, um, Terraform, and I've been trying to figure out Terraform, uh, not necessarily how to, how to figure it out, because I understood the concept, but I never did it besides, like, Hello World, and I, I saw a few presentations on it, uh, way back, and so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a shot. Gonna give it a real shot, <laughs> and not just do some you know quick demo. I I wanna maybe bring this tool set into my to my environment or into my tool belt. I guess say which which I did do. Um, and so yeah, I thought about uh, you know what what can I automate with with Terraform? And and shortly around that time, like I always noodle on videos in the back of my head, and I'm like, I know I have to do something at Terraform at some point. But I want to do something that's like a real uh, world problem for me. <laughs> real world problem. But a, 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 a challenge for me, I guess I should say. And uh, for me, that day, later on that day, I was going through all of my Cloudflare settings. And I noticed that one of my websites didn't have, you know, bot fight mode turned on. And I was like, huh, I thought they set that on my nine domains. So I had to go through and check each domain to figure out if I had this bot fight mode turned on. And then I had to do that for every single setting. And I've done that so many times. Every time Cloudflare introduces a new feature, I have to go back through, you know, eight or nine of my domains and apply that feature. So anyways, I was like, this is perfect. Is there is there a provider for it? Yes, there is. And I was like, oh, this is so great. This is so great. So anyways, if you don't use Cloudflare. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but there's there's a lot in there for you to learn about how, how, how Terraform works, how Terraform state works. Um, and how Terraform State is great and bad at the same time. <laughs> great and bad at the same time. Great because uh, uh, y you know it's 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 nice to have some centralized state, uh, but the state is only as good as the last time you got it from the source. So, anyways, keeping keeping Terraform State in sync is 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 not great. And so you know Terraform has Terraform Cloud, which which helps out with that. But still, you have to run. Uh, a, a, a plan or have a centrally managed thing that's going to run your plan and apply. So that's why I decided I'm gonna fully automate this thing and put it in GitHub, use GitHub Actions and do it that way. Because if I ensure that I always go through Git, you know, with GitOps and, 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 and you know, doing DevOps with GitOps, if Git is the source of your change or the driver of your change, then then everything will go through a github action so i thought yep i'm, I'm gonna do this this is gonna be my driver of change 
then I don't have to worry about my state getting out of sync because I only drive it that way. That means I can't do anything in the UI anymore. I could, I could, I could, you know, download my state again and, and upload it to Terraform Cloud. But anyway, so it's uh, it's pretty fun. And there are a lot of providers and I, I, I might explore some at some point, uh, I, but I think my next big task is basically download all of Cloudflare. <laughs> <laughs> download all of Cloudflare. And so, and I don't mean all of Cloudflare, but all the features that I'm using from Cloudflare, because it, it doesn't, you know, it's not just for DNS. It could be, it could be anything. It could be uh, uh, tunnels or, or whatever you want to do, however you want to configure Cloudflare. All of those features are there in that provider. So super cool stuff. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, it was fun to learn a new tool and to do some more stuff. And so, uh, yeah, so I, I guess I'm kind of on to the next thing. Anyways, that, that was a lot about that. Uh, but I, as you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. So anyways, um, if you're working on something, throw it in chat. Let's talk about it. Let's, uh, let's figure some stuff out or let's celebrate or let's all, I don't know, be upset about something. There's, there's not too much to be upset about nowadays, but well, I guess there is, but, uh, but we won't be. So anyways, okay, so let's uh, let's get into events. Um, let's see who, um, there was a couple events. Uh, yeah, right before I started streaming, I'll just start from there. Um, real quick, uh, Dama, Dama Dorpel, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Uh, I'm going with da, Dala, Dala. I don't, I don't know if that's lead speak or not, but D4HL4, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Block bug on networks. Hey, resub prime nine months, uh, likely upgrading Proxmox VE, uh, to 7.4 today. Awesome. So, so another thing, yeah. So, um, so another thing that was, was cool or happened recently, uh, was, uh, Proxmox release, uh, 7.4. Um, if you're, if you're on their, their edge or their, you know, un, un, uncertified or untested, <laughs> the rapid release, uh, updates, um, we got 7.4, which is pretty cool. It added, um, I mean, some stuff, but the, the, the real stuff that I wanted out of there, and I think a lot of people did, was dark mode. So that's that's pretty awesome. So Proxmox added dark mode finally, <laughs> finally, after all these years. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to give them too much grief because I, I get it. I get it. Like, if you're a, if you're an open source project, you know, you, you have features, you're trying to sell this thing, you're trying to, you know, uh, make all of your, your, your everyone happy. Your product owner is probably like, hey, well, you know, what about this feature and this feature? And maybe the product owner and designers like, hey, uh, we, we want dark mode. And maybe they're not developers everywhere. Like maybe we do, maybe we don't. Uh, but at the end of the day, someone has to make that decision. So I get it. I get it. That's 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 my day to day, you know, working at startups. Like sometimes you have to prioritize either things that sell or, or features you promised or things that um, um, your competition has. And so I know that 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 struggle or, or that trade-off um, or that uh, calculus you have to do every time you make a release. Anyways, I think a lot of people are glad that they added dark mode. I, I certainly am. I certainly am. Um, I've been using I've been using iLude's uh, script to to automatically install um, the uh, Discord version of dark mode. It's nothing to do with Discord other than the theming. So I've been using that for a while, and then I finally, I finally said uh, enough. So, anyways, uh, that script has been working fantastic, though. I, I think for I don't know nine months or something, I've had it. So, anyway, so yeah, uh, some exciting stuff going on, I, I guess, uh, in the world of tech. There's a lot going on. So, anyways, um, but but black block block bug on networks. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. So, um, let's let's get into chat. Let's see what's every everybody's doing. What you're working on? Uh, again, if you have something you want to share, throw it in chat, and I'll try to get to it. Um, and let's answer who was here first, because everyone wants to know who was here first. I know who was here first. My I, I use two chat systems, and they're uh, out of sync. And now you can see me testing my chat up the whole time. So, <laughs> rookie hour. Anyways, Liggity Split it, Liggity Split. How's it going, man? Good to see you. You were here first. You said first, maybe, uh, and you were. And then Yocto followed up with possibly been around for a few minutes, hadn't commented. Hi, hi, Yocto. How's it going? Dude, Crack Kitty in his house. What's up, Crack Kitty? How's it going, man? Let's go. Man, dude, thanks for the 200 bits. Appreciate it. Hopefully that wasn't blasting your eardrums out. Uh, kind of was mine, but, uh, but uh, I have a different volume set than you guys, so... Anyways, uh, dude, Crack Kitty, thank you so much. 200 bits, appreciate it, man. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure you're doing good. Um, okay, let's uh, let's uh, now I can get to now I can get to uh, real stuff, real chat. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, I got some color in here. I, I think uh, earlier, while I was getting warmed up, warmed up as I'm getting ready for this uh, stream, I think uh, uh, it's turned into dark mode. But now it's this is my favorite. This is my favorite. But it, you can change it to anything you want. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's channel points below. They're absolutely free. You can change the lights in my room, maybe, if the code works. And uh, code is working today, so but I can't guarantee it'll, it'll continue to work because I, I didn't think it was going to. And it, it's... It's, it's 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 a combination of firewall and just my code. I'll just I'll just put it at that. Uh, let's see. Uh, look at these play good tests. Yeah, that was my good test. So so this test that I ran isn't even a command, and I and I had a typo. <laughs> Statatus. So anyways, yeah, good command. I I agree. Good test. Uh, but my test passed because the bot responded back, and so it didn't matter if I got it right or wrong. <laughs> Um, De, uh, De Ryan. I'm going with De Ryan. De Ryan, uh, seven. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Cheer. Virtual, virtual Alex. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Pizza geek. How's it going? Uh, let's see. Uh, so I asked, what are you guys working on this weekend? Uh, Grubler 42 says I need a rack. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I was going to say like, yeah, Hey, you know, if you're in the if you're in the Minnesota area, I have a 18, 18 uh, four post, eighteen U uh, open post, uh, open rack that I, I I plan on selling at some point. Uh, but but quite honestly, if there was someone here in the area who who honestly needed it, I would just give that to I would give it to them. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, I, it's uh, it kind of stinks when you don't have a rack uh, because then the things just kind of pile up on whatever you want to pile them up on. And cords get crazy, and 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 cables get crazy, and it it uh, it yeah, and power and everything. Network. <laughs> when, once you get a rack in a place, it's it's super nice because then uh, you can start organizing things. So I hope I hope you find one. I hope you find one. Uh, PC geek, uh, breaking your K3s Ansible. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. So so uh, story goes. Uh, uh, recently, I uh, so I have a K3s Ansible repo. Uh, that repo helps you spin up a K3s cluster really fast and easy. Um, it, it has bugs. <laughs> I, 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 I won't say that it's bug free, uh, but we do have some CI testing that runs on every pull request and every release that tests all of our all of our code. I say ours because it's an open source project and a lot of people have commu uh, contributed to it. So we have CI that runs that actually builds a whole entire cluster on every pull request. Like it is awesome. But uh, someone recently added the feature for LXC support, which is awesome too. Um, but it's gone through a couple iterations and a couple bug fixes, and I can't test LXC in, in CI. I might be able to, uh, but uh, not easily. So anyways, PC Geek found a bug. I'm glad he found a bug, and I think he opened a pull request, so I appreciate that. Uh, but we recently added LXC support for that uh, for my K3S Ansible repo, so it's pretty cool. So now you don't have to worry about having virtual machines. If you want to use LXC, you can, uh, but there might be a bug until I merge that pull request. <laughs> So, so yeah, so th I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, PC Geek, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Going back to I need a rack. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it's getting weird. Okay, uh, CG Bass Player, uh, working on the Jupiter Broadcasting website. Awesome. CG Bass Player, how's it going? Uh, Jupiter Broadcasting, uh, awesome. They run the self-hosted uh, podcast and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So you're working on the website. Awesome. So you must work for Jupiter Broadcasting, I assume. Uh, awesome. How's it going? It's a I, CG bass player. I'm, I'm not going to guess who it is, but uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, uh, Attil uh, uh, Attilia? I'm going with Attilia. Attilia458 followed the channel. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, Cyber Knight. Speaking about, uh, speaking about that uh, repo, Cyber Knight using K3S Ansible again to redeploy a product cluster. Awesome. That is so awesome. I, I, uh, I, I love that people are using it. I love that people are using it because because my goal from that um, was to make like take some of the roadblocks and some of the challenges out of getting K3S or getting Kubernetes set up. Like I get it, you could you could go to the cloud and you could get Azure Kubernetes service or you know AKS or uh, I don't know, GC, G, G, GKS and all, all the KSs. But uh, sometimes, you know, when you have a lab, you want to spin up these machines locally and you want to get it installed. 
but sometimes you don't want to know the ins and outs of how to get it installed and creating load balancers and and all of that stuff because if you followed my videos even from way back like we we've been setting up <laughs> i feel like we've been setting up kubernetes for three years we we kind of have well, like uh two three years uh, ever since i started my channels one of the first things i started to do was hey hey how can we self-host kubernetes and get it running at home um and so like that's been an evolution and um and and finally i said you know what like there's got to be an easier way to do this like i want to create a script to, so people can automatically spin up kubernetes and like totally remove that roadblock and 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 you know make the on-ramp a little bit smoother so if it works for you the on-ramp is pretty smooth if it doesn't work then uh it's not pretty smooth but that's again why we added ci tests and why we added you know integration tests uh and and some in-flight checks that it actually runs when it's deploying the cluster so it's uh it's pretty fun stuff i i love building a cluster and tearing it down uh, now that I have CI, though, I, I rarely do it. Uh, I used to, I, every time someone opened a pull request, I would manually do it myself. I would be like, oh, pull request, uh, let's go into Proxmox, spin up this cluster, check out their branch, uh, reset the cluster. Okay, everything works. And then I was like, ah, man, this doesn't scale. <laughs> this does not scale. If I got three pull requests, that means I'm busy for 20 minutes. So anyways, uh, so we got in CI. But anyways, going back to what you were saying, uh, using K3S Ansible again to redeploy proc cluster, that is that is awesome. That is awesome. I uh, I need to I need to deploy some more clusters too because it's it's super fun. So anyway, Cybernet, how's it going? Thanks, thanks so much. Uh, Reason Tech, Reason Tech, hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, Yakto, way out, y, YWS out in the Pacific Northwest. Let's see, <laughs> physically moving racks so I can begin work on the garage remodeled to give the servers their own dedicated room and make an operations center office. Well, this this is totally YWS. <laughs> <laughs> YWS. So if you don't know, Yakto has like a garage that he's turning into a, a data center, but now he's having a de dedicated operations center office. I don't know if he has employees. It sounds like he does. Uh, I'd like to think, I'd almost like to think he does it and he's building a war room for himself. <laughs> don't tell me because <laughs> I, I like this idea. If you have employees, that's, that is awesome. Congratulations. If you don't have employees, I love it. Cause, uh, cause then you're just like role playing as, you know, in a war room and like, yeah, but you, I, I'm assuming you do, you've been building something forever. You've been building out this data center, getting, uh, fiber into it, uh, four racks and four, yeah, everything. It's, it's pretty enterprise in his garage. So awesome. Good to hear it. Good to, good to see you too, Yakto. Uh, Briffion. Riffion, uh, evening off. First stream I caught live, uh, caught, caught in a while. Glad to be here. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. Me too. Yeah. I have seen some names I haven't seen in a while. So thank you. Uh, same been a bit. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a lot of home lab. <laughs> Grubler. That's a lot of home lab. It is a lot of home lab. <laughs> uh, reason tech it's good, but needs more RGB. Uh, it's, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, lickety split it uh working on my plex scripts again oh interesting I, i'm curious what your plex scripts are i assume it's some automation around uh uh, uh your your metadata for for your, your 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 media and maybe auto renaming and fetching and doing stuff um curious what your scripts are i, I assume it's that i assume it's you know media management uh i have to do very little for mine but uh well i, I shouldn't say that all my stuff's manual so never mind i do a lot <laughs> I do a lot, but, uh, yeah, you, if, if they're public share, uh, I mean, if they can be public, yeah, you should share them in a gist or on GitHub or GitLab, wherever, uh, I'd love to see them if you, if you can, uh, make them public and remove your secrets and environment variables. Cause I'm curious what people do. Like I, you know, it's, it's like this, you know, black box for a lot of people. Uh, they, they, they hold that close <laughs> cyber. Hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, J J F man 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 not man, 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 man. J, I'm going with J F uh, J F uh, I am putting uh, a building out back for my rack it's too damn loud awesome so you're having a a he shack outside uh, for your server rack that is pretty cool I I think that's awesome I think that's awesome for 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 yeah lots of reasons uh, for for. For, for heat for or a cooling maybe in the winter heating not so good in the summer but noise yeah that's another one plus like it takes up a lot of space uh maybe you can get some solar panels out there and i don't know charge some stuff up i don't know sounds awesome i'm curious uh if, if you're if, if 
this is if you're building it from the ground up and if this is the one that i saw in in the discord channel that you're pouring out gravel and leveling it out i don't know if it's this, the same post i'm maybe i'm crossing the streams hey virtual alex hey thank you so much as risa prime three months two months stream thank you so much virtual alex thank you uh the one thing that i notice about my lights that is not working is actually my flashy lights stuff so hey i'm dude pc geek oh man thank you so much gifted a tier one sub to jf uh pc geek gifted a uh, yeah tier one sub to jf um dude thank you so much you've gifted 26 subs in the channel dang dude thank you so much i appreciate it uh wow i i didn't realize it was going to show me the total and i'm like blown away um okay so let me lights were not flashing so remember when i said things could work or and things might not work it's the flashing that is not working dude franchise dude thank you so much 100 bits thank you so much uh flashlights uh yes <laughs> so when in doubt when these don't work then i have buttons i can press uh to make them flash so I, i'm gonna press them. anyways uh dude thank you so much i appreciate it i don't know flash or strobe one of them strobe is strobe is slow i don't know strobe is slower flash is faster faster i can't even say that anyways th th thank you guys so much i appreciate it lights are kind of flashing i'm just gonna go old school and push buttons <laughs> exactly what i said i didn't want to do in my terraform video today i'm going to push buttons so i don't know what's up for some reason lights will change but the flash command isn't working so i i don't know i gotta figure that out anyways Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, all of you, Virtual Alex, PC Geek, uh, for gifting that sub and franchise for the 100 bits. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, back to, I think we're on blue. I'm doing this. I'm doing this old school, like DJ style. Uh, Virtual Alex, uh, what up from New Jersey? Hey, what's going on? Uh, Virtual Alex, again, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, get, get, get tated. Get, get tate did. <laughs> get, get, I can't say that. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but hey, how's everyone doing? Get, Get aided. Get aided. Get aided. <laughs> I can't say it. Dude. 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 I load. Ah, oh, thank you so much, dude. I load, man. All right. I'm clicking flash buttons again. Dude. I load. Thank you so much. Gifted five tier one subs. Dude, you got you guys do so much already, man. Thank you so much. Uh I load gifted five tier one subs. Uh so Cat Catu Muller, uh, Noise Marine, McClan, uh, Get Aided, and Imperial imperial uh enjoy your gifted sub from ilu thank you so much and if you're in discord make sure you you connect your uh twitch account so that you get a shiny badge i appreciate it dude ilu you, you guys do so much already <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate it uh our lights lights are flashing this is this is old school 1990s dj going on right here where i have to click buttons i shouldn't say that because uh, a lot of people still click buttons but i i am able to write the code it's my code's not working Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, man, you guys do so much already. Uh, let's see. Uh, JF, man, JF, I'm going with JF. Uh, good here. Out back walking the dog. Hey, awesome. Yeah, I, I walked our dogs today. They are, they are so happy that it's uh, kind of spring. They are like losing their minds. <laughs> they are losing their minds for sure. Uh, and uh, But it's it's kind of wet and muddy out. So I, I've been walking them down the middle of the street. It's probably not the best thing, but uh, they, they are loving it, prancing in the, in the street. They don't get to do that often, so they're they're loving it. Uh, let's see, Twisted Grim. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're, I'm working on Proxmox update, dark mode as well, and getting the Argo stack installed. Awesome! So Argo CD, you want to do some now? You want to do some GitOps and automation with your Kubernetes cluster? Love it. Argo workflows, CD events in my Kubernetes cluster. Also started an application template like I talked about last week. Uh, I'll try to get the public version out at some point. Yeah, I would love to see that. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, dude, thank you so much. Uh, I would love to see that. I would love for you to share that. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm a noob when it comes to Argo. Like I get what it is, I get what it does, and I I've seen it and I've seen demos. Uh, but uh, I use Flux, so I, I keep saying like maybe maybe I should just try Argo one time. Uh, cause there's a, there's a great community behind it and it seems like a really good product, but man, yeah, it sounds awesome. I'd love to see, love to see your template, your application template. JF, uh, I got to rebuild my PVE system. I'm moving all my data to true NAS nodes first. Yeah. Good call. So your PVE, so your Proxmox virtual environment, you got to rebuild it. I'm sorry. You have to rebuild it. Uh, but, uh, you're moving all your data to true NAS node first. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Uh, back up whatever you need and back up your data and put it somewhere else. Uh, I would recommend backing up, I think it's your Etsy slash PVE. 
folder, I think it is. Uh, and that's where most of your Proxmox config lives. I know you, you said you're gonna back stuff up to, to TrueNAS, but just in case, I assume you're gonna back up, you know, LXC containers, you're gonna back up your virtual machines. Uh, but I would back up that folder too, only because like, you know, it's, it's a good hint at how you configured stuff if you can't restore uh, those devices. So there's good hints in there. Well, I mean, it's all your config. <laughs> so more than hints, but it's it's working. Uh, this song is jam. Ah, thank you. I, I know what song you're talking about. I, I'll almost replay it though too. Xavius D, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Uh, making mushroom soup, enjoying a blackberry strawberry smoothie and playing uh, Gridfinity while installing uh, your R7... 30 XD upgrades. Woohoo! While chatting, while on Twitch. Man, you you got a lot going on. Uh mushroom soup. Love it. I assume you mean like are you are you talking about like Campbell's out of the can, condensed mushroom soup? Because I love that. Uh, but if you're talking about something like a little heartier or something uh homemade, yeah, I'm all for that too. Uh, but enjoy your smoothie, enjoy good affinity, enjoy your RX730 XD. Uh, and uh yeah, enjoy your day. Good to see you, dude. JF, good to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here too. Twisted Grim, uh, one of my buddies just got an RX 730D. Uh, thanks for showing yours uh, and the info. It helped my recommendation for him. Yeah, it's speaking of showing stuff off. Uh, yeah, Xavius D, he, he hangs out. He camps out in the voice uh, channel and is always sharing what he's working on. So I, I really appreciate that. Um, let's see, uh, JF, anyone ever play with true nuts clustering? I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Uh, I'd love to see kind of how it works. Uh, but, but it's funny. We have scale and I haven't done it yet. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't done it yet. It's, it's, it's I know. <laughs> yes, I have not done it yet. I should say no. Uh, scales, uh, scales, eight clustering. Nope. Not touching that. Oh, okay. So clustering with, with, uh, Kate and true scale. I haven't, I haven't, is that even possible? I know that's kind of the, what they want to do. I haven't touched it either. I haven't touched it either. Uh, it, it's a definitely a cool concept where you could basically build out, you know, scale out horizontally multiple true servers. And then from there scale out, hopefully that Kubernetes stuff. I don't know where the load balancer lives for most of this stuff. Uh, but I'm sure, I don't know, maybe someday I should look at it because so I can understand it a little bit more. Uh, let's see, uh, KVM with VFIO. Awesome. Uh, I, yeah, let's do it. KVM with VFIO. So you're going to do some pass through stuff, I think on KVM. Awesome. Cheetah, uh, Cheeto Bandito, Cheeto Bandito. Going to do some KVM with VFIO. Ah, that sounds like, it sounds like a great day for you. <laughs> Maybe a little frustration. I don't know. I don't know how easy it is. It's it's probably it's probably okay. It's probably okay. You got it. Like if you're interested in that stuff, you most likely can figure it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of times you're not just like, yeah, I think I woke up today and uh, I've never touched virtualization, but I want to do KVM and VFIO. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you'll get it for sure for sure. But awesome, sounds fun. Uh, JF, no, like for storage, I want to have two nodes failover between them. Yeah, so I, I, that's what I thought you meant. And then I think we went the Kate's way too. But I I, I haven't touched that either. So you basically want to do high availability uh, storage. Uh, but I still, I'm still i still like, where does the load balancer live? I assume you have to have a load balancer. And I assume there's like a kind of a primary, secondary. Uh, and then there's some sync job that has to run. I'm just thinking about like clustering in general. Uh, it, it's, it sounds cool. It sounds cool for sure. Uh, because yeah, and, and you know, like, like most people at home, their, their NAS is a single point of failure for a lot of their stuff. Um, it is for me for sure. Uh, cause I don't have multiple NASs, so it would be cool to figure out. Uh, but you'll have to double, basically double everything, you know, double, double your fun, you know? Uh, yeah. Double, double your Ram, double your drives, or, or you split them up or you split them up and you get half the stuff. So half the fun. Still double the fun, but uh, but with half the resources, you'll have to double that hardware unless then you're going to virtualize it. But but yeah, uh, don't know anything about it other than I think it's possible, which is the best non-answer I could come up with. <laughs> um, uh, some have used clustered file systems like Ceph. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, if you want to talk about like something that supports clustering natively, yeah, Ceph for sure, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> typically, uh, typically with clusters, you want odd numbers for sure. For sure. Cause you need, you need quorum, you need to vote. And, uh, if you have even numbers, uh, no one wins, uh, ner nerpiest, uh, Hey, 
looking for some something simple to build uh, software-wise, I've made uh, some Proxmox nodes and hosted some open source programs just looking for something to spin up on my own. Could automation or a Raspberry Pi project or whatever. Oh, looking for something simple to build software-wise. I've made some Proxmox nodes and hosted some open source programs just looking for something to put my own spin on it. Huh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so I don't know what programming language you're talking about. I, I assume you're you're talking about you want to create something your own rather than spin up someone else's stuff. Let me grab a drink. I mean, the things that I've done that I that I'm super interested in is I, I like to build bots for some reason. I like to build bots. I build bots for Twitch, Twitter, Discord, uh, YouTube, you name it. And uh, they're they're fun to play with, and they're fun to you know they're they're fun because. Um, uh, for Discord or, or Slack, whatever you want to use, probably Discord. Uh, it, it's super fun because you can you can create your own channel and then you can create a bot and you can actually you know basically test in production uh, on your Discord server and your, maybe your private one or one that's public and you can basically write the code and run the code and debug the code right in chat and it's basically like you're you have this feedback loop of okay I'm writing the code I'll run the code and then I'll test it in my chat client did it work didn't it work uh, and you could even debug it too. And I think that's super fun for me, at least, uh, um, <laughs> as, as you know, or if you've been around our discord server for a while, I, there are plenty of bugs in my code. Uh, but I, I try to fix them really quickly when someone mentions it. Uh, that's, that's, that's the advantage I have of, of, you know, self-hosting the stuff and having CI and CD like all the way through is that I, I can just commit code and push it up. And within five minutes, our bot is refreshed. So I don't know. Those are the kinds of things I like. I also like building uh, web services and, and websites. So I like to build, you know, not not only uh, the APIs for stuff, but also the website that hosts stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm big into React. I'm big into front end. I like TypeScript and I like doing APIs. I uh, noticed how I said like. Uh, and then, you know, I I can do. And I'm like, you like how this goes? Like kind of like and can do. I can do back end. So I've done back end stuff before. Uh, but whenever it starts to get into models and databases, I'm just kind of like, ah, <laughs> and that's probably how a lot of backend people feel about front end stuff like React. They're probably like, what, what is this madness? <laughs> so anyways, I, I don't know if that helps. Um, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's one of those things. And then if it's none of those things, it's, it's usually automating something in my home. Like, like I have lights that you guys can control. That's super fun for me. Like that's super fun because one, I, I can write the code and test it against hardware in my home. That's fun, and it, it doesn't have to be public. But then connecting it to my bot that runs in this channel and letting other people do it, that's super fun to me too. So I don't know, uh, things like that. Uh, but, but you know, put your own spin on it. Find something you, you enjoy. And then for me, it's like, okay, either automate or write code around that thing I really enjoy. So I kind of get two for one, so. Uh, I, I hope that helps. And, and if you don't write code, I'm so sorry, because <laughs> that, that's kind of where I was going with that. If not, there's tons of tons of services you can install, tons of containers you can install. Um, yeah, I, I, a real fun one that that is fun, that's easy to do, especially as far as containers go, that that looks great. You know, Uptime Kuma is, is fantastic. It's one of my favorite ones that I have. And it's fun to monitor stuff within my home. So if you, if you have things with IP addresses, like access points, routers, IOT stuff. It's super fun to be able to monitor those and say, hey, is it up right now? No, it's not. And send you a message in Discord or something like that. So lots of lots of stuff you can do. There, there's no shortage of, of things you can self-host or code you can write. That's for sure. Uh, JF, I'm looking for input on. I want multiple nodes to uh, basically have an as. Yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it. Uh, but uh, I, I, I think it's possible. I mean, that's why scale exists. I just haven't I haven't dove into it yet. <laughs> uh, uh, PC Geek, I do use ZFS replication between two true NAS for backup. Uh, could also access my files from the backup if I need, uh, but it's not automated failover. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so I see. So, so you replicate your 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 ZFS to another machine, which is great. It's great. It's having your second copy of your data uh, somewhere on your network, uh, and then then if you need to restore it, you can. Awesome and. Uh, yeah, I need to look more into scale and, and see if this is possible, especially with the open source version. I, I, I assume it is, assume it is, uh, but I haven't done it. I kind of waiting that a bit want to reboot the main NAS without, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, exactly, exactly. 
Uh, uh, ML Cohen, uh, you using other HashiCorp tools, Vagrant. Uh, am I using other HashiCorp tools? I did use Vagrant, Va Vagrant, what am I saying? Vagrant. So I did use Vagrant for a little bit. Like I was on a team where the team was really excited about Vagrant to spin up, uh, to basically build out developer environments. Uh, so that, you know, uh, you guys probably know this, uh, either when you hire a new engineer or developer, there's a big setup process in order to get environment variables, tooling, and all of this stuff ready on, on their machine, whether it be Windows or Linux or Mac or whatever. There's this huge cost to, like, get the machine configured and get all the environment variables and tokens and stuff set up. And uh, a team that I, I worked with for a while, they were they were gun ho on Vagrant, and that's how they would spin up their development environment. And so it was easy as saying Vagrant up. They put a lot of work into it. There's a lot of work that goes into it to just be able to say Vagrant up and have everything working. Uh, so yeah, I've done that. I've done a little bit of Vault. I want to look at console. Um, and uh, man, I, I have to look at their. I I always forget like everything that they do. I mean, there's so much, but I want to look at console. I, I understand what it does. All right, let's look at the products really quick. Um, I know I, I know I'm I know I'm just missing one that I I've already done. Oh, oh Packer, yeah, and I've done stuff on Packer. So um, yeah, haven't. Okay, we'll go down. Terraform, yes, I've done that. <laughs> Packer, yes, I've done that. Vault, I played with it. I've done it, but only in the lab. Boundary, never done it. Console, want to do it. Nomad, never even looked at it. I understand what it is. Uh, Waypoint, haven't done it, uh, and Vagrant, I've done it. So yeah, so yeah, I've done, I guess I've done quite a bit of, of uh, HashiCorp stuff without thinking about it. Cause, cause at the time, you know, it was like, hey, this is our secret vault, use this, you know, or hey, use Vagrant for this. I wasn't looking at it like, oh, they have a portfolio of stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have used other things. I, I'd love to, love to know more because uh, uh, they have some very cool stuff. And I, 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 I'm interested in vault too, for sure. Uh, powers. Hey, Tim, uh, as a tip for Terraform, check out uh, Atlantis. It's really nice uh, Terraform automation tool that works with GitHub PR webhooks. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Thank you. Atlantis. So I'll, ch I'll check it out for sure. Um, I built, you know, in my video today, I built a GitHub action that runs uh, a, a, a Terraform workflow and does a lot of stuff for me. Uh, but maybe there's a better way. Yeah, I, I, I did it the I did it the HashiCorp way, the Terraform way, and I did it the GitHub way, but but maybe there's something, maybe there's a better way. I can almost guarantee there's a better way. You're saying there's Atlantis, uh, but but a lot of people find better ways to do things. So yeah, I'll uh, noted. Thank you for that. I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, PC Geek, Terraform works great with Proxmox to provision and clone VMs to build a, a kids cluster. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Christian did a video on this a while ago about, I think he did it. Yeah, Christian did one. Uh, Lempa did one about uh, 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 Terraform and Proxmox. Yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. Uh, that I, I, I should have done it. I, you know, but I, I, I shouldn't say I rarely, but uh, I don't build new VMs often enough. How about that? I'll put a good spin on it. I should be <laughs> creating more VMs. I guess if I uh, got uh, Terraform going with Proxmox, then I then I do it more. Uh, yeah, especially for testing. I, I, I still have my three VMs. I have three or sorry, five dedicated VMs that I'm like, you know, I target, uh, and I use, uh, 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 my, my, uh, cloud image, uh, and that's on there, but the actual creation, I, I should probably do that too. I should probably do it too. But I've always wondered, like, are, are, are people like preserving their state then locally, or are you even importing your state? Are, are you just kind of saying, ah, I don't care about state. I'll, uh, just build and, and, and tear down uh these 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 entities every time every time i do it because uh because i guess that you know the terraform way is is synchronizing your state so you could see your whole proxmox cluster you know import that state then you have a great state and then you can drive uh everything that's in there kind of dangerous though okay <laughs> can be dangerous so I, I i'm sure a lot of people are just just you know ad hoc adding and removing things uh but but you know uh, once you once you add in state, it gets really cool. But then you have to you have to you have to live it after that. You got a dog food state after that because then it's like okay, you do some stuff in the UI and you're automatically out of state. So it kind of it's kind of yeah yeah maybe maybe uh, VMs isn't isn't the right way. A cloud like a, a real cloud might be the right way too. And you just disable everyone's access to it'll be read only. <laughs> the UI in in cloud would just be read only uh, if if you went all in. Uh, sounds sounds. 
I don't know if I want to live in that world. Sounds awesome, but at the same time, sounds sounds kind of scary. If uh, if I if I could never do anything again in the UI except for observe, but but maybe maybe that's that's where everyone's going or or what you're doing, and I'm just like behind the times. Um. PC Geek, I've been using that for a while now. Yeah, I, I got to check it out. Got to check. I mean, I've seen this video and I, I've checked it out, but uh, yeah, I, I should try it. How about that? How about that? Uh, the Proxmox Terraform uh, uh, provider looks pretty nice. I hear it is. I hear it is. Uh, it is. I use Packer and Proxmox to build the Cloud init VM template and Terraform to clone it out. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've done Packer stuff. I did Packer with Maz and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, I use Terraform and Proxmox and love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love. <laughs> That, dark mode, all right. Proxmox did get dark mode, yes. Yes, it did, it looks great too. Stat bars change colors, they go up higher. Yeah, I noticed that because as you as you may or may not have saw on Twitter when I tweeted that out, I'm like, why are my bars different colors? I, I honestly thought it was like artifacts of the previous theme and that mine was wrong because I was seeing everyone else's bars and they were blue. I was like, ooh, my theme's messed up. But no, it turns out like, yeah, they do change colors. You could see in mine, like <laughs> disk space was red, RAM was, I don't know, orange. And then uh, I think I was, I was no, I was, there's no blue to be seen. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is pretty cool. Yeah, CPU, RAM and everything. Uh, yeah, now if I can get, <laughs> yeah, Longhorn to put dark mode, that would be perfect. Yeah, uh, speaking of, um, I kind of committed to, to doing that. Uh, I, I, uh, I told myself I was going to do it. Uh, and uh, open a pull request on the Longhorn repo. I kind of spoiled it because a while ago I said I was gonna, I was gonna share something. I haven't done it yet, uh, but I've been working with them. I I know what needs to be done, and I'm I'm not criticizing what they've done, <laughs> uh, but that repo needs some love. <laughs> I'll just say that repo needs some love, and uh, you know these things happen over time. You get you get developers or uh, front-end developers who do things a certain way and then if it never gets touched again it's 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 kind of a frozen in time <laughs> i'll just say that and uh so 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 the 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 way that it's structured and written um i don't want to say it's frozen in time it, it just needs some love i'll put it at that because I'm, I'm not here to criticize people's code if you look at my code my code's terrible you know, and I have a lot of repos frozen in time. It's just like I've been writing a little bit more modern uh, React and using a little more modern stuff. Uh, and theirs is in React, but the tooling is 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 a little bit outdated. So I'm 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 struggling to uh, on this pull request. Do I just change the theme, or do I rewrite half of their UI? <laughs> and uh, there's nothing against it. It's just like I I, I want to follow newer patterns. And so that was my struggle. And so I, I, I kind of put it on the back burner. Uh, one day I need to set it aside and just do it and just do it. Get the theme done and then propose, you know, restructuring or, or, or rebuilding uh, Longhorn's UI uh, to, to, to be a little bit uh, more modern. Uh, modern, write modern React and structure it in a modern way and use modern tooling. So anyways, uh, yes, I, I, I am aware of it. I've been I've been working with them in, in, in that issue. If you look up that issue, you'll see me in there. Uh, chatting with them and 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 how to how to how to actually get the repo working and be able to debug it and so i was actually able to run longhorn ui on my local machine using their code and connected at my production server so i'm there now now i just need to write the code and that was kind of my my next hurdle uh challenge i should say but uh, again not not criticizing anyone's code because I'm, I'm i'm not a great i'm not a great developer i'm not a great engineer i write bad code all the time uh but um there are you know like I said, it, it needs some love. Like any repo that hasn't really been maintained in a year or two needs some love. And this one needs some love. <laughs> okay, off that. <laughs> off that. Uh, JF, did they uh, add dark mode to PBS? I don't think so. I don't think so because they're two separate products. No PBS yet. So if you're wondering what PBS is, it's uh, it's your public broadcasting system. Now, that's, that's the PBS I know. The other PBS I know is uh, Proxmox Backup Server. And so... Uh, so no, I don't think they did yet, and I, I think you confirmed. Craig Kitty, yo, a few weeks away, I'm back. Hi Tim, hi all. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Yeah, dark mode. Everyone's loving the dark mode. Yeah, there there is a dark mode GitHub repo for PBS though. Ah, okay, okay. I, I think I'm at a point where I might be able to stand, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit up a little bit taller because my back's feeling a little bit better. If you're just joining in, you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? I'm getting old. That's <laughs> that's what it is. No, I. I, I, I uh, did a lot of manual labor right before this. And so anyways, uh, Atlantis is great for Terraform, 
but his GitHub action is much simpler uh, for a small state set. Oh, cool. So I, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, the one that I used was was a copy pasta exactly uh, from Terraform. That was the one that if you search, you know, GitHub Actions, that's the one they recommend. And then I, I, uh, I noticed a bug in there. I don't know exactly how to fix it because I don't know how they generate this, this YAML and this template. I should look into it. Um, and I was going to open a PR and I'm like, wait, hold on a second. I'm like making a video right now. I need to need to stay focused and finish this video and maybe do a PR later because their, their, their branching was messed up. And it took me a while to figure out like, what the heck is going, going on? Why won't it, you know, why won't it actually run the apply? And it's because the branch name was wrong. Anyways, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I, I, I like the one that Terraform had and the one that I'm using is because it caches all, like it caches those modules for you to use. And so the first time you run it, you know, you, all of your providers, you know, it downloads them and it and, and it stores them in a cache. And then like later on, your cache is up to date. And so it speeds right past that part. But yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Maybe, maybe like you're saying, uh, uh, the, the GitHub actions are, are simpler. Uh, I'll check it out. Or maybe you're saying his. Okay, I got you. I got you. Atlantis is great for Terraform, but his, but his as a me, Git action, GitHub action is simpler for a smaller state set. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I copied and pasted it from Terraform. So, uh, 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 I use uh, PBS in dark mode. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. It's it's coming for most people. It's coming for most people. Um, let's see. Uh, Obsidian, Obsidian view. Uh, anyone doing anything AI flavored, flavored, uh, flavored locally? I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know that's how it's spelled. Uh, <laughs> outside the U.S. Um, I'm AI. Hmm. AI locally. Am I? No, I've done, I've done some ML stuff, but it, the model was already trained. And so all I was doing was like object detection. That's, that's, that's pretty much the extent of, of what I've done. I know that people, people in our discord are, I know that people in our discord are, especially with imaging and stuff like that. And craft showed how to, you know, host your own, uh, AI image generation tool, which was pretty awesome. I thought, um, Jeff, I, I call him Kraft. <laughs> it's funny, I I know him, and you know it, his name's Jeff. But I, <laughs> and when I talk to him, it's Jeff. But for some reason, I refer to him as Kraft, <laughs> and that's his name. I know he probably gets it all the time. Anyways, Jeff, yeah, Jeff has a video on how, how to spin up, you know, an AI imaging uh, tool to run uh, on your on on premise uh, with some pretty low specs, if you want, you know, with with uh, just an NVIDIA video card. So, but I I I'm not running one all the time and i know some people are doing object detection in their home lab or in their you know production environment at home for their security cameras i i would consider that ai uh object object detection you know and, and recognition uh you know ai kind of spans spans the gamut like <laughs> you know it's, it's it's been a like a you know marketing and marketing dev marketing buzzword for a while because like you know what where 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 does ai you know where where, where does it end is an if statement or a while loop. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, sup, Sly Human. How's it going? Sly Human. <laughs> How's it going? Sup. How's it going? Uh, let's see. Oh, people. Yeah. Changing the lights. I love it. Franchise. Planning a new PC build for Counter-Strike 2. Awesome. Yeah, I, I heard about this on Friday that Counter-Strike 2 is coming out. Um, and I didn't look into it. A buddy of mine at work said Counter-Strike 2. I was like, R really? That's awesome. Uh, but didn't look into it. So building a new PC. All right. I, li I like it. Priorities. Uh, but no, uh, no, no greater. Well, I shouldn't say no greater time. It's a, it's a, I think it's a pretty good time to build a new PC. Uh, we got, you know, uh, new video cards out. We got new uh, CPUs out. Uh, you know, DDR5 is, while expensive, is out. Uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of new tech that's out for sure. For sure. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I, you'll have to share what you're going to build. Cause, uh, I'm, 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 I'm at a point now where it's time to replace this machine that, that everything's running on that, that I do everything on that. I, that I work on, that I create on, that I stream on, you know, it's a, it's a 8,700 K Intel. So it's, you know, it's a, it's five series back Intel. It, it's, it's hanging in there. I shouldn't say like, you know, it's not just that I do have a 3090 in there. So, you know, that helps a little bit. Uh, but the CPU now is starting to show its age. So I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm in the market too. I'm in the market for sure. I, I have a couple of ideas, uh, and a couple of things I want to do, uh, but, uh, they might be unpopular decisions. We'll see. 
But I, uh, yeah, I'm curious what you're going to build. Obsidian View. Trying to get Longhorn sorted across mixed arch cluster. Ooh, interesting. So busy trying to get Longhorn sorted across a mixed architecture cluster. I was like, mixed arch Linux? <laughs> yeah. No, okay. So I, I, I got you. So so you have a mixed architecture cluster. So you uh, probably ARM and x86, um, you know, x64, but x86 uh, architecture. Interesting. Yeah, that one's tough. That one's tough. So I, I've done it before and it went sour real quick, um, mainly because my Raspberry Pis weren't fast enough to even run uh, to pull down the image for Longhorn and synchronize data. Uh, so I, I ended up bailing and putting taints on it and basically saying, Hey, none of my Raspberry Pis are going to run uh, Longhorn, uh, uh, because of that. But there are some workarounds that you could do. You, you could, you know, attach a SSD to it or something other than a micro SD card, uh, that might help. And then there's also, you know, I, I think what this, this is starting to get inception, but I think with Longhorn, you can actually mount NFS shares too. <laughs> which is kind of like you're taking this distributed storage system and then mounting NFS, which then might be your single point of failure, but it could work, uh, which I feel like that's just like testing. <laughs> Unless what you're talking about earlier, you have a high availability cluster with NFS, then then yeah, sure, sure. And that's that's one way to do it is that way. But uh, I, I don't have that at home. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know how it works out. I mean, I did it like a couple years ago. And I quickly realized that a micro SD just cannot keep up, especially for synchronizing storage. It uh, blocks storage, synchronizing block storage. And even the first time it tries to replicate, like it goes haywire. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that, 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 I agree. That does sound fun. <laughs> PC Geek moves to MN to take Tim's old rack. Oh, well, no, no. <laughs> No, honestly, I, 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 it's not just lip service. If, if there was someone in the, in the Twin Cities who, you know, needed one who, I, I don't know, couldn't afford one, uh, you know, I, I would, I would give it to him. hundred percent would give it to him. Um, if you can't afford one, I would question, you know, uh, no, uh, if someone said, look, Tim, I, 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 I cannot, uh, you know, I, I can't afford it right now, or, you know, I just don't have the resources. Yeah. Can I have your rack? I'll, I'll meet you somewhere. <laughs> okay. This is getting weird now, but, uh, you know, I, I, I give it to him. Why not? Why not? I'm not using it. It's taking up space. And is it worth the hundred bucks I get on Craigslist for it versus helping someone out? Nah, not really. So anyways, <laughs> I, I mean that I, I, I would, uh, haha. -ha, yes. Uh, to Instagram, uh, we should gang up and, uh, we should, we should gang up and get some GitHub actions on Tim's repo <laughs> and add some Terraform format and TF lid. Yeah. That one, that one threw me for a loop too. Uh, uh, Terraform from, I'm like, really? Did you have to just like remove the vowels? <laughs> like, and an R? Like, there was, like, why did format have to be FMT? Uh, it was probably, it probably goes back. But yeah, they're, they were saving bits. But yeah. Uh, Grubler. Oh, Grubler instead of like Gruber. Anyways, uh, Duluth seems like a decent <laughs> price to pay for a rack. Yeah, Duluth, uh, that's a, even though that's still in Minnesota, where, you know, I'm in southern Minnesota, Minneapolis. Duluth is up there. You know, that's still a four, 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 well, I think four ish hours north. It's pretty far up there. I love Duluth. I love Duluth. I love that area. It's so awesome. Uh, and being, you know, at the North Shore, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, yeah, if you're in Duluth, sure, drive on down. That's a, that's a haul. That's a haul for sure. Uh, I did, I did get it working with the workaround. All right. So we're going back to the K3S with the workaround. Yeah. I need to figure out, I need to look at the pull request that actually added that feature. And then the pull request that fixed the bugs for that repo, because, uh, because, uh, there might be some hints in there as to why it doesn't work. Swiss Techno Tom, how's it going? Swiss Techno Tom, hi, hi Tim. Hello from Switzerland. Uh, the late night TT show. <laughs> I'm sorry it's so late there. Yeah, it's what, uh, six hour, 10, 10, 10 o'clock there. I bet 10 or 11 or 12 or midnight. I apologize. Uh, great to see you. Hey, great to see you too, Swiss Techno Tom. Uh, installed Proxmox uh, version 7.43. Great features. All right, great features. I, the only feature I even am aware of i know there are other ones but the only one i paid attention to was dark mode and i updated right away albeit i haven't rebooted yet i i think i'm gonna save that for tomorrow that sounds like a tomorrow thing where i reboot it and then if everything goes well clean up my kernels but but awesome um 
also working on PBX updates, uh, I found a new library tool named Kavita. Uh, do you know it? No, I like the name Kavita. Uh, I don't know it. I'll have to check it out. So I got to check out two things, Kavita and Atlantis. I don't know it. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out for sure. It's uh, it's in my mind's backlog. It'll get on into my, my real backlog here soon. But no, awesome. I'll, I'll have to check it out. Good to see you. Sorry it's so light. Uh, probably in bed. <laughs> hmm, is this in bed? It's probably in bed. <laughs> How's it going? Hello, gang. Good to see you. Good to see you. I, I bet that's in bed. I bet that's in bed. I wonder if it is. Uh, oh, yeah, my GitLab, <laughs> GitHub repo. Thank you. Uh, Adderlord, um, working on 3D side scroll slasher about Nightcat uh, using Unity Engine. Awesome. That that sounds so fun. That sounds so fun. I, I would love to, like, just develop a, you know, a, a, a game at some point. Just, just, just to kind of, I don't know, go back to my roots. I, I can't even call myself a gamer anymore. I, I don't remember the last game I played. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Oh, I know. I know. It was Gems of War. It was Gems of War on my Xbox because I had 15 minutes. <laughs> um, and it was like the only thing that was already loaded and it's like mindless. But anyways, um, but yeah, it sounds super fun. I'd love if, if you ever sell it or go public or, or whatever, or it's public code, show me it. Because uh, I, I haven't done anything with Unity. It looks so awesome. It looks fun. I'm sure it's a ton of work. And I'm sure a lot of like game development is romanticized like like I'm doing right now. Like, I'm just like, yeah, it sounds so fun, but it's a ton of work. It's a ton of code. It's a ton of debugging. It's a ton of testing, you know, and I, I'm, I'm romanticizing about uh, like building a game and I know it's a lot of work. So Adderlord, I, I hope it goes well. Sorry, it was a scratch. Um, 3D side scroll, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I, I love platformers. Uh, I love platformers a lot. Uh, you know, I go back to my roots, back to my... You know, Metroid, Castlevania, Super Mario dates, uh, I, I, and even, you know, newer games uh, that are out. I, I love side scrollers for sure. Uh, PC Geek, you got to get it working with Terraform in the CI process to test. You got to get it working with Terraform in the CI process to test. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, guy. Oh, I just, just spin it up with, I think this is about the K3S. Let me know. Um, the franchise, uh, definitely checking out the Kate's Ansible repo later. Yeah, let me know. Let me uh, let me know how it is. It it sh it should be, it should be easy. As as long as you, <laughs> as 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 long as you have machines, I would say try try the VM way first. LXC was just recently added, and I think uh, 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 PC Geek found a bug. But uh, uh, go the VM route. Create three VMs. Have static IPs and. Uh, you know, you don't have to use Ubuntu because we test with Rocky and we test with a couple other flavors of Linux. But if you if you're okay with Ubuntu, try it with Ubuntu. Uh, it works with Debian too, and uh, and then let it rip. It should be just uh, letting it rip. Uh, and if something goes wrong, I can almost guarantee it's going to be your version of Ansible. Uh, but but check out the discussion tabs. There's a pinned there's a pinned message that says, hey, if something goes wrong, here are the whatever nine things to check. And every single time someone opens an issue, I shouldn't say every time, 50% of the time someone opens an issue, it's the first one on the list. So, uh, and it has to do with your Ansible version being out of date. And, it, and that all has to do with like installing the latest version of Ansible versus using the one that comes with the distribution. You want the latest one or later one. You don't want the one that ships with Ubuntu or that is available in their app uh, repository because it doesn't support a feature called split which allows us to do things and manipulate uh, some objects. Anyways, long story short, uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> hope you like it. Um, PC Geek, Yocto is like the PC guy version of the arm bunker dude in Tremors. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's preparing. He is preparing uh, for for the worst, uh, uh, but by building his own data center. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Yakto. Let's see. One man. Oh, LOL. One man operation. All right. All right. That's, I like it even better, but it's an excuse to buy an Odyssey Arc for the war room. Awesome. Yeah. That, that monitor is awesome. So, so, so that's like the 55 inch Samsung, right? That's like, I mean, it's more, it, it's just this ginormous curved monitor, which, uh, to be honest, I, I've, I've considered, look, I considered it. Now I'm in the market right now for an ultra wide. Shouldn't say that. Let me let me uh, let me specify my requirements. Maybe maybe you can suggest some monitors. I'm in the market for a new monitor. Uh, I have a couple of requirements though. Uh, one, it has to be 
more than 4K. Uh, a lot of people have, I, I've tossed this out in Discord and people are like, this 55 inch 4K or this, you know, 47 inch 4K and, 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 and uh, they're awesome. But I have a 4K now and, I, and, uh, and then I have two 1440Ps. I, I want to simplify my setup. And by simplify, I mean like getting rid of three monitors and going with one monitor. But the thing is, I don't want to, because I'm going to be losing real estate from the two, you know, horizontal ones that I have, horizontal, portrait mode that I have right here is 1440p. You know, I I still, I, I don't want to go down to just one 4K. The only way I will go down to something that is 4K is if it's actually wider. So if it's whatever, 20, 30, 20, 21, 60, whatever. If the height is what a 4K monitor is, but the width is an ultra wide, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So I've been searching and, and uh, I, 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 I've been searching and I, I want a monitor that's either 5K or 6K or ultra wide that has the height of 4K, which I think is 2160. I can't remember. I, I, I can never remember 4K's resolution. I think it's 2160 uh 2160 i don't remember anyways uh but yeah so i i'm in the market let me know let me know yeah if, if you have an awesome ultra wide or something bigger like a 5k monitor i'd love to know because uh i want to i want to simplify stuff and, and one of the one of the well, two reasons why I, I i'm considering an ultra wide one is because i edit video and so the wider i can go the longer my timeline is and i know it sounds weird but on a 4k monitor you know if if this is you know this is 4k you, you know with all my tooling and everything i'm getting about this much of my timeline and so i keep scrolling keep scrolling and keep scrolling i know it sounds weird or or like you know first world problems but it kind of sucks like it breaks up my flow when i'm editing because i i like to you know i'll edit in real time while it's playing i'll say okay i messed up kind of there i'll go cut here go here while while it's rolling i'll, I'll cut in front and behind once 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 that bar hits the end it, it just shifts everything and I'm like, ah, oh. so anyways, anyways, long story short, <laughs> I'm, I'm in the, I'm in, I'm in the, I'm actually in the market for new everything, new everything. I, 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 I've, I've done really well and I, I, I feel like I'm at a point where I've used all of my gear for a long time and I've got a great, you know, use out of it and good value, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm going for upgrades now, but at the same time, simplifying some stuff. So anyways, that's, uh. That's what I plan on doing. So anyways, uh, Odyssey Arc, let me know. I don't know how I got off on that tangent. I know how I did. But Yocto, dude, <laughs> I am so glad it's just you in an operations room by yourself, going to build a war room. That is awesome. That is awesome for sure. Because that's that's what I imagine. That's what I imagine. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Uh, PC Geek, uh, if we have a government fallout, Yocto can keep the country running for us. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. YWS. YWS. I need a direct fiber line to YWS so I so I can. <laughs> uh, let's see. CG bass player. Uh, Techno Tim, I do not work for Jupiter Broadcasting. Okay, their website is an open source project, so I'm working on that while having some free time. Hey, nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. I, I guess I didn't realize their website's open source. Awesome and cool you're contributing to it that is, that is so cool that is so cool i i figured you were yeah i figured you worked for them but no uh, hey i'm i'm all for that i'm all for that uh, i take being <laughs> compared to burt gummer as a compliment oh yeah <laughs> from from tremors right yeah <laughs> he had everything that man <laughs> that man that was that man was a man with a plan <laughs> for sure for sure okay uh hey guys uh hey all uh, you know what? I'm going to stand up while I do this because I didn't stand up yet and I've been sitting for a while. And uh, at the same time, let's uh, talk into the mic while it goes up. Hey, uh, uh, I am going to kind of wrap things up. Like I said, we we usually go for about an hour. It's roughly an hour now. And uh, I, I uh, don't want to go too much longer. And also, I kind of have a hard stop because I got to meet people at five o'clock with my wife. And I think my wife's home because I hear stuff going on. Uh, but anyways, uh, hey, all, uh, thank you so much for joining in today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. Um, thank you so much. There was bits, there was gifted subs, there was subs, there was resubs, there was follows. I greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much. It's, it's incredible. Hey, <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Dude, chaotic. Speaking of dude, chaotic gifted five tier one subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, chaotic, uh, 42 gifted uh, tier one sum to voodoo ray 
uh, Ino, Enoch, Enoch Marak, uh, Neo Geta, uh, Zero San Ones, Mr. Happy Puncher. <laughs> Enjoy your gifted sub uh, from Chaotic. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wow, that's that's too much, y'all. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who was here and gifted subs. And even just even if you're just here uh, chatting and talking about stuff, because uh, like I always say, like I, I like this is my one chance during the week to talk about this stuff. Like, you know, I, I, I have friends at work who, you know, who, who are kind of into it, you know, uh, and I have a friend at work who is really into it. Uh, but, you know, we, we talk work stuff. And so it's it's great to kind of think about, you know, home lab stuff, networking stuff and talk about what's possible. Uh, and this is my time every hour or sorry, one an hour a week to talk about this stuff. So I, I'm, I'm uh, truly grateful you're here and, and here to chat about it. If you want to chat uh, and I should apologize, there's a lot of chat I didn't get to. So I, I do apologize. Like I, 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 there was a time when I, I was able to read all of the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can figure something out in the future. Uh, to, to, to address everything, but as it stands right now, I'm, I, I got to cut it short. So I do apologize. If you want to chat, if you want to hear more, if you want a, a, an answer from me, or if you want to chat with other people who are in here right now, you should join our Discord server. Our Discord server has over 8,000 people who are interested in tech, who are interested in home labs and networking and, and building out services and infrastructure. And uh, and uh, um, I, would, I would love it if you would join. Uh, and also, um, if you, if, if you need me, feel free to ping me. I, I don't mind if you ping me, you know, we have a rule in discord. Don't, don't blow anyone up. Obviously don't ping people multiple times, but feel free to ping me. I, I don't mind pings at all. Ping me here, ping me, Twitter, ping me, whatever, wherever I'll meet you wherever you're at. So, so anyways, uh, I, I would love for you to join it's ex exclamation point discord, or you can go to discord.gg slash techno Tim, uh, cause we're a partnered server. Or you can just go to technotim.live and find the Discord button in there and uh, join right there too. So anyways, have a great rest of the week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I, I have some more stuff coming out. I have something pretty cool and unique coming out. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say soonish, but I'm working on it. And uh, it's uh, it, it's pretty cool and pretty unique. And so I, 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 uh, I need to get on it. I need to get on it a little bit more. I won't wait as long as I did uh, to get this last one out. And it's not like I waited. It just takes a long time sometimes when you have long content. Anyways, have a great rest of the day. Have a, have a happy Saturday and a happy Sunday and a happy week until I see you next week. I will be here next week. Hopefully, I'll have something out for you soon on YouTube too. So anyways, but thank you so much for everything. Uh, have a great rest of the day and be good to each other. Take care, folks.